Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd do a quick kind of game review video. Uh, I'm probably going to be talking about four games, poss definitely three, maybe four, we'll see. But um, let's get to it because uh, I got bad lighting and I don't want you to put you, I don't want to put you guys through this long video with bad lighting. So first game we'll talk about is Dead Island. Uh, you guys probably saw my last video or the video review about it. And, uh, you know, it was a cool game. It was a cool idea. Uh, it was fun. It's kind of like a RPG uh, zombie type of game. Kind of like Left 4 Dead uh, and uh, um, Fallout. Kind of a mixture of those two games. Cool idea. It wasn't the best game I've ever played. Uh, it wasn't executed amazingly or anything but uh because there was a lot of flaws in it but overall it was a pretty cool game uh it was a little hard i got to a certain part of the game where i had to follow this one guy and there's like 15 guys coming at you and it's almost impossible because you have to kill them all while hoping your guy doesn't die at the same time so it was really hard gave up on it returned it but um i wasn't as dedicated to the game just because i didn't buy it and it wasn't mine so, overall, I'm going to give that game, I don't remember what I gave it, but I'm going to give it a 3 now. Good, but not great. Not a keeper. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, Resistance 3, and I don't have the game with me because I did rent that game. Uh, it, it, to, honestly, it was a filler until another game came out. Wanted to test it out. I never played any of the Resistances. First time playing it. Honestly, I, I didn't like it. It's... Uh, not my cup of tea, but, uh, I mean, it did everything well, you know, it did the whole first-person shooter thing well, had a bunch of guns, great graphics, great presentation, pretty good story, but honestly, it just, I wasn't feeling it, I didn't, I didn't like the, I didn't like the, the weapon variety, it was just kind of out there, too futuristic for me, I'm not big, a big fan of first-person shooters, um, it's you gotta really impress me if you're a first person shooter and the only ones that really do that for me are Call of Duty so I, I didn't really like it at all to be honest I only played it for like I had it for like a week and I only played it like maybe twice I didn't get very far at all um, but you know that's just my personal opinion it, did, it does everything fine I didn't play the multiplayer um, so if you're into that type of game, I would probably suggest getting it. I'm sure you all know. I mean, it's it's a triple A AAA, uh, Sony title, so it's you know it probably does everything well. But it just wasn't my cup of tea, and I didn't like it. So I mean, my personal rating for it was like a a two. Uh, it had potential, but it just wasn't for me. Third game I'm going to talk about is Gears of War 3. I also don't have this with me. I actually beat it and returned it. Um, to be honest, the, the Gears of War franchise for me is just kind of... It doesn't do anything for me, honestly. It, it's it's X, Xbox's uh, best AAA title they have. It's the best exclusive they have. Um, but honestly, it just doesn't do, do anything for me. I, I don't like the story. I don't care about the story. Um, I don't care about the characters. To me, the, the, the graphics are kind of... Yes, in the third one, it's a lot more open spaces, and it's definitely better graphics, but I just don't like the overall feel of it. I don't. Um, it's just... It, 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 gets, it gets boring, to be honest, with this game. I just kind of wanted to beat it and get it over with. Um, but, I mean, it... It's just, it, I mean, it has cool elements, obviously. Uh, the blood is cool. The voice acting is pretty good, for the most part. Um, the action, like I said. Uh, the cutscenes are, are pretty good. Um, but overall, I just, I don't care about the characters. It, it's probably the best one out of the three, just because there is a little bit more variety in the action than, than the first two games. But honestly, it, it's just, I didn't care. I, I really didn't. And it's sad because this is Xbox's, Microsoft's biggest game. And um, it just, I don't know. I just don't like the clunky guys or like these guys that like, it's its not believable. They're these, I mean, it's a video game. It's not supposed to be believable. But the fact that it's these guys that are humongous and they have on these suits that, that look like they weigh like two tons. And it's just, I don't know. 
it's it's and, and I hate that you fight these alien guys. You're not fighting humans. It's just uh, I don't know. It's just it's it's not for me. I didn't care for it. Um, I mean, it's good at what it does. I'm I'm gonna give it a four just because it does everything good. I played multiplayer for a little bit. I played the um, I think it's horde mode where it's like you you play with other people online and you're good guys and you're trying to. Uh, def def there's like a bunch of rounds and you're trying to kill all these people off all the enemies in each round without dying it, it, it was okay it was it wasn't bad but overall I, I, I'm gonna give it a four it's, it, it's it was strong but it wasn't amazing it's not to me it wasn't a keeper it I wouldn't want to play it again I, I wouldn't want to keep playing multiplayer because I don't like the multiplayer for that type of game so there you have it and last uh, is Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, I'm late to the game. I actually bought this when it came out at Toys R Us when they had to buy two, get one free, and I actually exchanged it to get a different game. Um, and everybody kept saying how amazing it was, how amazing it was, and I always wanted to try it. And I finally went out and got it, and honestly, it, it was really cool. Um, it's not as amazing, I don't find it as amazing as everybody else does, because everybody talks about this game how incredible it is and it is cool it is, it is definitely one of the best comic book games I've, I've ever played or superhero games in general but I don't know if I I wouldn't I don't think I'd want to go back and replay this game it, it was it was cool but I, I didn't love the story was great don't get me wrong it's just I didn't love it like I love Uncharted like I, I would go back and play Uncharted 1 and 2 any day this one I, I at times it felt like a chore Maybe because I was trying to get all the like the, the little Riddler, Riddler trophies and all that shit, but it felt like a chore at times. But but still, it was really cool and 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 I liked it. And and I thought the best parts were definitely the boss battles. I loved the boss battles. I thought they were all interesting and unique, and and it was very fun. It was probably the funnest parts of the games. Probably the parts I died the most in the games, but but it, it was fun nonetheless. Um, the the action combat is cool. Um, it, it, it gets kind of tough at times because sometimes you have like 20 guys at you but for the most part I did okay in that area I do love when you go into um, the sneak mode where you're in a room with guys with guns and you gotta kind of sneak and I actually that's where I died the most it's, it's trying not to die from gunfire that gets really tough but at times it was fun because it was fun trying to figure out what to do and what's the best options but that was fun the cutscenes were really good um, the voice acting was really good, um, but I hated that you, you had to, I hated the environment, to be honest, um, I hate that you were kind of restricted to this asylum, like, I know there was outdoor areas and stuff, but I just, it was all kind of felt monotonous, it was all kind of like caves or, or like enclosed buildings, it was just, that's the one thing I didn't really care for, but, it, I mean, for the most part, it was, it was pretty damn good, I, I liked the interview tapes, they were interesting, kind of gave it a dark feel to it. But, um, I know there's other things to do in the game, but I just, I don't want to do them. Just because, I know, the, I, I kind of wanted to beat it really quick, just so I can get to Arkham, Arkham City, which comes out Tuesday. I'm still, like, two days ago, I was like, I'm getting it. But today, I'm like, do I want it? I don't know. Um, I mean, 60 bucks is a lot for a game that you don't really, specifically when you're not really super, super excited. I mean, I mean I'm excited to play, but I'm not dying to play, you know, like like Uncharted or, or uh, Saints Row, I'm not dying to get it, but I think I might, I don't know, but overall I thought this was really good, I, I'm going to give it a 4.5, for me to get a 5, I would want to literally go back and play it again, and I don't have that feeling, but um, but it was cool, I don't know, I actually might sell it, because I don't see myself playing, playing it again, um, but we'll see, so anyways, I'm going to give it a 4.5, anyways guys, thanks for watching, and uh, a lot of me rambling on and on. I'm not going to put pictures of the games because I can't bother. I'm lazy. So, anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.